All right. Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to Virtual Coffee Break with Tanisha. How y'all doing today on this lovely, lovely Tuesday? How's everybody doing? Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Wonderful. That's what I'm talking about. I love it. And hello to everyone in Team Love totally Platinum Group. Yes, yes, I love it. So tell me, what did y'all do this weekend? Anybody do anything uh, this weekend that can help move their business forward? Let's celebrate. Miss Benita, let's start with you. Well, I was I was fortunate to meet you in person and when I tell you the nuggets you threw down, the nuggets we left out full. So I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. And you're thank welcome. you for my picture too. <laughs> ah, you're welcome. So yes, we had our Super Saturday in Rochester, New York. We also had, um, so in addition to Director Crystal Brown, we also had Cindy and Aaron uh, Sturroy who flew in from Texas and mm -hmm. it was just amazing. Awesome, awesome. Amazing. An amazing event. Uh, anybody else? What'd you do this weekend? Oh, y'all hear that thunder in the background? Mm. That's you? Yep. Oh, wow. Yep. Yes, ma'am. Summers in Florida don't play. <laughs> All right. Anybody else? What did you do this weekend? Tamika. Felicia got a comment. Um, she said she never worked at her family reunion this weekend and have two people who are interested. Oh, wow. Good job, Felicia. Good job. So have, have they, um, have you gotten them on three-way calls yet? Because you're, especially with your family, do not try <laughs> to close your family. You have got to get yourself out of the way and get them on a three-way call with a senior business partner that can cast the bigger vision someone who is documented so that your family can see, wow, this is big. I am working on that as we speak. I'm getting the time and date that they are able to be on to see the information. And then I'll be able to get that three-way scheduled as soon as I get that date. We're okay, so, get wait, on. okay so hold on, let's get, let, let's go back. I heard you say something. You said schedule time to get them to see the information. Why aren't we just sending the schedule in the three-way call and sending them the big picture video? Why are we waiting for a webinar? Where is your point. urgency? Good point. I like the big picture video, but sometimes people are kind of like, ah, it's hard and for me to gauge. Schedule. Now, listen to what I'm saying. You schedule the three-way call. Hey, cuz, when are you available for a call so we could discuss and get all your questions answered? How about Wednesday at seven? Okay, great. Listen, I'm sending you a 10 minute video. Watch it, write down your questions and I'll be sure to get them answered on the call. Just, I, I don't know. I just really want to like leverage the, the Damien Goins platform and just, I don't know, just to, so they could see the full overview of the business. They can see the, they can get on a webinar after they join. Okay. That makes sense. Let me I'm going to, I'm going to adjust and do that now. Let me say this, y'all. You have got to start operating with a sense of urgency. Y'all act like y'all got forever to build this yes. empire. And you don't. You don't have forever to build this empire. You have a window of time. We are at 94,000 and you have until we hit 100,000 to build like you've never built before, to build the biggest team you can possibly build. From 94,000 to 100,000. I remember having the same conversation saying, hey, y'all better operate with a sense of urgency. We're at 20,000 and you only have until we hit 100,000 to position yourself to be flat out wealthy, build, build, build. And then I said it again at 30,000 and then 40,000 and then 50,000 and then 60,000, 70,000, 80,000. And now we're at 94,000 and y'all still waiting to get someone on a webinar to expose them when we have a video that they can watch immediately. And I'm not saying don't put them on the webinar. 
I'm saying if you invite them to a webinar, and I've said this before, also, right? So let's say, Felicia, you invite them. You say, hey, I want you to get on this webinar at such and such a time. And they say, okay, yeah, I'll be on. Say, listen, I'm also going to send you a 10-minute video that is just going to share, you know, an overview of everything, but you'll get even more detail on the webinar. This way, if they didn't make the webinar, you've exposed them and you already got the three-way call scheduled. I need y'all to work smarter and not harder. Y'all are making it real difficult for yourself to sign your next business partner because you're not operating with a sense of urgency. I never send anybody to a webinar. I close 99.9% .9 of my people with the videos because it's fast and easy. Anything can happen. You, when you work with just webinars, all the stars have to align perfectly in order to expose them to the business. They ain't working late. The kids are, are well-behaved and not asking them for anything. Their spouse is not asking them for anything. The phone is not gonna ring at the time that they're supposed to get on the webinar. Everything is perfect. When does that happen? Never. So I bet I, how many of you, and I want y'all to be honest, this is, this is like a, a, a poll that I'm taking. Right now there's 19 of you on, and I want everybody to respond in the, in the chat. How many of you invite people to the webinar and you have more people who don't make it on the webinar than people who do make it on the webinar. Just say, okay, keep going. Just say me. The question is, and I want y'all and Team Lux Platinum answer this question too. How many of you invite people to the webinar and you have more people who don't make it than people who actually do make it onto the webinar? I want everybody to respond. Let's let's look. I'm a count. I want to count this. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen out of nineteen people. What does that tell you? So you are missing the opportunity to close your prospect. And then y'all wondering why you haven't hit your next promotion. And I've said this repeatedly. This is not the first time that I've said, send people to videos because it's convenient. Think about how busy you are. Y'all busy or is it just me? I work this business full time and I'm busy. So if somebody wants to prospect me, who's a busy person, they want to prospect me and they want me to take a look at what they have, but I can only see it. I only could get the information if I make myself available on a specific day at a specific time. What are the chances that I'm going to make time for that? It's not even a priority to me because I don't even know what the heck it is. Y'all are missing out because y'all ain't listening to coach but you keep doing what you're doing. Hopefully it'll work out for you. But what I train for people to do is what I just said to Felicia. And I get it. Listen, the webinars are a great closure for the people who can get on. But if they ain't on, they're missing it. So again, here's what my suggestion is. Well, let me, let me go back. Here's how I, there's five ways to expose people. Y'all write this down, especially if you're new. My senior people, they already know this. They are, there are, five, remember PS3, peak interest, show the plan, three-way call. There are five ways to show the plan. Who knows the five ways? Who wants to share the five ways to show the plan? I was trying to get somebody else another chance to talk. <laughs> um, but I do know the five ways. I keep that hand keep um distracting me and keep going up. Um, but the five ways to expose somebody 
you got the video, you got a live PBR in person, you have a Zoom PBR on Zoom, um, you have a sizz the sizzle call, on-demand call that you can literally call and listen to Mr. Bradley uh, give the presentation, um, and then well, we kind of, oh, travel party in okay, your home. Zoom again. So the video, mm -hmm. the Zoom, mm -hmm. the in-person meeting, the mind. call, mm -hmm. and travel party, or what I've got a three-way call is exposure. Now, travel. so the videos and your mobile app is one way. Webinars is a second way. PBR's private business receptions in your living room is the third way. The corporate hotel meetings, that's the ones that are on your calendar in your mobile app where it says company news. And then the fifth way is the 24 hour on demand call. Okay, y'all got that? Videos, webinars, corporate hotel meetings, private business presentations that you do in someone's living room. We call those PBRs. And then the 24 hour on demand call. So here's how I use everything. This is just me. Y'all do what y'all want to do. <laughs> I'm going to expose someone first to the videos from my mobile app because it's the, y'all hear that? It's the quickest and easy way to expose people, especially busy people. If you're a parent and you got young kids, you know your time is not your own, right? Y'all remember having them toddlers? Sometimes the only time you got to yourself is if you went to the bathroom. And even then you might see little fingers under the door trying to get at you, <laughs> right? But if you send someone a video, guess what? They can watch it when it's convenient for them. They may take their phone in the bathroom and watch it real quick. Or they may watch it on their lunch break at work. Or they may watch it on their commute. Can we please make it easy to expose people to the business instead of picking the most challenging way, which is inviting them to a webinar, just a webinar? Anyway, I'm gonna expose people to the videos. And first I expose them to, pre. if I'm peaking them, I'm exposing them to preview ITA and preview rep first. That's if I'm peaking them. Now, if they jump in my inbox and hey, I'm interested in learning more about your business, then I'm gonna say, great, when are you available for a call? I'm gonna schedule a three-way call and send them the big picture video. But if I'm randomly peeking someone, I'm first gonna give them a soft exposure using the preview ITA and preview rep videos. I want them to kind of, you know, I, I want them to just stick their toe in it, jump in head first. I want to just expose them. I see y'all hands. I'm going to get to y'all in a second. And then I'm going to get them on a three way call. And nine times out of 10, they're going to be closed. They're going to get their questions answered. They're going to look at the big picture video, right? Because once I send them the preview ITA and preview rep, I'm going to follow up with them. Hey, Karen, after having watching those videos, is this something you're interested in learning more about? She's going to say, absolutely. I love the idea of making money in the travel industry. Great. When are you available for a call so we can discuss and get your questions answered? That is me scheduling the three-way call. Once I got that three-way call scheduled, okay, I got you down for Wednesday at 6 p.m. Listen, Karen, I'm going to text you a 10-minute video that provides all the details. I want you to watch it. Write down all your questions and I'm going to get them answered on the call. And we're done. She's going to be closed on that three-way call with my senior business partner. At a time that she scheduled, that's convenient for her. Y'all keep trying to invite people to a webinar and it's not convenient for them, which is why they ain't getting on. Just saying. Now, if I've done all of that 
and the big picture video doesn't close her, she don't sign up, right? That 10 minute video doesn't sign her. Now I'm gonna introduce her to another exposure, which is a 30 minute webinar. So we went from a 10 minute video, didn't get the job done. Now I'm gonna take it to the next level, which is a 30 minute webinar. Where's she gonna get a little bit more? Y'all catch what I'm saying? 10 minute video, next level, 30 minute webinar. So now I get them on a 30 minute webinar, see if they have any additional questions. What, they still didn't sign up? Okay, guess what? Now I'm gonna get them to a 60 minute hotel meeting. I need to get you in the culture. I need you to meet the leadership in your market. I need you to hear the testimonies. I need you to rub elbows with the millionaires for the top, you know, the six figure income earners. I need you to see all the gold builders lined up sharing their, their backgrounds. Y'all catch me, right? 10 minute video, 30 minute webinar. Don't close them, 60 minute hotel meeting. Some people need three, four, five exposures before they join the business. You will have a much better, I'm not saying what y'all doing are wrong. I'm just saying if you want better outcomes, you better make some adjustments. Because it's crazy that out of 19 people on, that were on, that 17 of you said you have more people who don't show up for the webinar than do show up for the webinar. And I'm like, why are you not sending them the videos? So you get to choose, it's your business. I'm just telling you what I do. I don't have those issues because I don't even have to... I, I never really get, to, it's very rare that I get to the point that I even have to invite them onto a webinar because I've closed them with the videos. Quick, easy, boom, boom. I'm operating with a sense of urgency. I don't have time to invite you to a webinar that you don't make on. Not because you didn't want to, but just it wasn't a convenient time. Something happened. Mama called. You know the mama called. That ain't going to be a quick five minute conversation, right? Or your son or daughter needed you to pick them up. They missed the bus. Now you got to leave and go pick them up from work. Y'all see what I'm saying? Karen, question? Oh, I just had my hand up for the, for the, um, uh, the okay. five things. But I did want to say, I, I follow you. I follow this. This is what I do and uh, what I tell my team. But the, that in Detroit, we don't have the... Um, hotel meeting anymore, but we have my, we use my home for the, uh, that, and, and, yeah. and it's, yeah, and we're, 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 we're following this, the thing that, um, that 30, I was going to say that 30 minute webinar, I was going to say to the lady who said she wanted to get Damien going, I love Damien Gomez's team and everything, if we can, but that's not really usually the first exposure. That's right. like you said, I, I'm trying to get them to that. And if you really want them to see something more than 10 minutes, that 30 minute webinar on the Planet Marketing Facebook page runs 24 7. 24 7. You, you can send them. them there. You can even get a link to that and, yep. to that and send them the link. Exactly. And that let that be your video if you think they need more than 10 minutes. If you know your prospect, you know what they And I usually ask, you got time for a 10 minute one, 30 minutes, 60, what do you got? You know, if they tell me 60 minutes, okay, I'm going to send them, I'm going to still send them a, a presentation. If we got 60 minutes present, we can send them. But you know? any, a webinar but, shouldn't be 60 minutes. A webinar should be 30 minutes. So, well, right. You're right. 30 minutes. You're absolutely right. People because don't have those, a lot of time. We don't. We got to compress these time frames because we're running to the state. I heard you. I heard you say you're leading from the front and that one, I wasn't on that one, you're leading from the front, that you're gonna walk across that stage, it's fireball, okay? Those of us who right. didn't, we still got to the end of this month to walk across as the, the pin. 100K pin. 100K pin. K pin. So we don't have a lot of time. Exactly. We don't have a lot of time. I just wanted to say that. <laughs> Absolutely. Benita? You actually answer all my questions, but the videos, are they in your arm? Um, on YouTube to the big picture and all of that? No, it's in your Planet Marketing mobile app. Oh, mobile, okay. Thank you. 
And if you pull up the 15 day quick start, I did a whole training video on how to work the mobile app. Okay, and thank went you. went over what videos to send and when to send them. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Stormy? Hi, good afternoon. Uh, Director Burke, when you say that you do the 10 minute, the 30 minute, the 60 minute exposures, but it may take five, up to five exposures. Where do you go after the 60 minutes without appearing um, pushy or you know getting in their way? Are you going off of what they're feeding to you? Like these uh, prospects are still showing interest, but just not grabbed yet, where you're not you know, getting on somebody's nerves and then getting ghosted. Right. So that's where I use BAM FAM, book a meeting from a meeting. And they're going to let me know when's a good time to follow up with them. Either they're going to let me know when are they ready with, because if they've gone from the 10 minute video to the webinar, to the hotel meeting, clearly they're interested or else they would have told you a long time ago, no, this is not for me. This opportunity sucks. Why are you doing this crazy thing, right? They're not saying that, they're just not ready yet. So then I just say, when will you be ready with your $200 to get started? And that's the date I'm gonna put on my calendar that I follow up with them. Or if they haven't told me, you know, quite, you know, yes, at because at that point there, I know now what's holding them back. Because they're telling me, I'm asking you questions. They're either telling me they don't have the money yet, which is nine times out of 10 what it is, or they just got a lot going on in their life right now. And they just literally cannot take on anything else. They need to clear some stuff off their plate. And so I'm going to ask them, okay, how much time do you need to clear that stuff off your plate? You know what? I need, I need, a, I need at least two months. I got this, that. Okay. How about I follow up with you and you know, the end of September. Okay, that'll be great. So it's bam, fam, book a meeting from a meeting. There's no me, you know, hounding you. I'm not gonna hound you. If I don't have an appointment to, to follow up with you, then I'm just not following up with you. You'll follow up with me. So bam, fam, book a meeting from a meeting. Let me go over to Team Lux Platinum, see if anybody has a, a question. All right, Gina says she's going to watch the playback. Kim Walker says me, meaning she also struggles with more people not showing up on the webinars that she invites them to than the people who do show up. Miss Zara? Hi, um, I, I have a question. So like when you book a meeting from a meeting and then they stand you up or they don't call you, they ghost you. How do you handle that? I sent them a text message saying, hey, just tried to reach you for our scheduled appointment to discuss the travel business opportunity. If you're still interested, you can reschedule on my calendar. Here's the link. Got you. Thank you. You're welcome. Rochelle? Hi, um, I think this was very um, helpful because I was I did do the intro call and before that, you know, sometimes we are trained differently to send a webinar first, but sometimes they do have corporate webinars. Do you send that to people or no? For yourself on Facebook, I send videos, but yeah, okay. if if I'm gonna send someone to a webinar, this is just me personally. I'm sending them to the corporate webinar. Now okay. we do have a team calendar. Anybody work following the Team Lux Platinum, the calendar of everything that's going on? It's showing you when our directors, listen, I love Damian Goins, love him. His presentation is amazing, but you know you have directors on your team that you have access to that do webinars too. Damian's not on our team. Dini Arania, it's the bomb to get bomb. Just saying. We have directors that are doing it, but me personally, if I'm, this is just me personally, I expose people to the corporate webinar on the Planet Marketing Facebook page. Why? Because it's guaranteed to be 30 minutes in and out. It's not going to go over. 
and you have only the top, I'm not going to say the top income earners. I'm going to say you only have the top directors that can deliver a flawless presentation doing the corporate webinars on the Facebook page. So just because you are a director does not mean that um, you get to do the corporate webinar. You have to kind of be invited by another director who has heard you present, know that you know, you know what to do. So not everybody does the corporate webinar. So you're guaranteed to get a, a high level of professionalism when you expose people to the webinars that are on the Planet Marketing Facebook page, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. And the beauty of those is that they stay on the Planet Marketing Facebook page. So you don't even have to wait until tonight at seven. If you've already exposed someone to the video and now you want to expose them to a webinar, you can, eat, you can just tag them in one of the previous ones or share the link to them from that presentation. And the main reason, this is just me. My directors that are doing the presentations, they do an amazing presentation. But the only reason why I, me personally, I tend to refer to the Planet Marketing Facebook page is because I know what's going to happen. Whereas with the directors, if, if they're traveling during that time, they might have to cancel it, right? Director Dooney Adam does the Sunday presentation, but guess what? He was traveling from California, so it got canceled. So if you had invited a whole bunch of people and didn't see his post, that it was canceled, now you got people on a webinar that's not happening. That is never ever gonna happen on the corporate webinar on the Planet Marketing Facebook page. So that's the only reason why I leverage that first. Now, if I know, for example, if I absolutely know, no, no, without a doubt, I spoke to Dooney and I know, you know, his presentation is happening and I got a millennial or whatever, I might invite someone to jump on that tonight. But as a rule, as a rule for me, I stick with the corporate webinars because I know that they're, they're going to happen no matter what. I know it's going to be 30 minutes. It ain't going to run into 45 minutes or an hour or an hour, 15 minutes. And let me say this. If you are inviting people to a webinar where the actual business presentation part of it is not over within 30 minutes, you need to stop inviting people to that webinar. The webinar presentation should not be more than 30 minutes. The business portion. Now, if they do a Q&A after, and that goes, you know, now it's going into 45 minutes, that's different. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying if the actual presentation, the business part, the part that your client, your prospect needs to make an informed decision. If that part is not done, and this is a webinar, if that part is not done within 30 minutes, if I were you, I would stop inviting people to those webinars because the prospects that you are inviting to the, these webinars, they don't have a lot of time. And so if you have them sitting on a presentation that's taking 45 minutes to an hour, the first thing they're going to say is, I can't do this. This takes too much time. I don't have this kind of time. You're sabotaging your own business because you're exposing them to something that's taking way too long, which is why the corporate webinars are 30 minutes. We know we got to be in and out. Get the people the information so they can make a decision. All that extra stuff, unnecessary because we're telling them get back with the person that invited you for their questions to get answered. There's a reason. We want to duplicate what corporate is doing. 30 minutes. So if you are inviting people to webinars that are more than 30 minutes, stop. Because you might be sabotaging your own business. You might have someone who's really, really interested, 
but because they've been sitting on a webinar for 60 minutes, they're like, I don't have time for this. I don't know where I could fit this in. If this is what I got to do, my people, my network of people, they busy. Just saying. Uh, y'all and Team Lux Platman, y'all agree, disagree with your thoughts? Any questions, comments, feedback? Team Lux Platinum. Hey, Carmen. Hey, Stacy. Hey, Kim. Hey, Shirley. Hey, Tia. Hey, Alicia. Director Green, you have any uh, feedback on this? Anything you want to add to this? I don't know if you're in the place. What you are saying is so, so true. I was kind of, yes. Everyone's, we're in a microwave world now, right? We're in a microwave world. They want to know, um, what are you showing me and can I do it? And do I have time to do it, right? And what I was sharing with my team is I don't even, if I'm, when I'm prospecting, I don't put them on a Zoom that I'm doing, right? I put them on someone else's Zoom or, you know, after I send them the video, whatever the case is, because I don't want them to think they have to do what I do, Right? So I moved myself out of the way. I, I guess you kind of kind of call it downplaying mm -hmm. because I want them to know they can invite folks to a presentation or to see the video and they don't have to actually do it. They may think, okay, you're going to expect for me to do what you're doing. Mm -hmm. I can't do that. They're going to forget the fact that I've been here for seven years, right? They're going to forget right. that because they're new. They don't know how to separate the difference. But we got to be able to leverage, like you said, leverage the videos, leverage the short Zooms, right? Leverage those things, leverage all the tools. And there's no reason why you can't win in this business. You just got to be a professional inviter. So I totally agree with you. I'm sitting there going, yeah, girl, go on, keep reaching it. Go on. I hear you, right? So yes, definitely. Thank you so much, Director Burke, as always. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody have any comments, feedback? Y'all see? Um, Go ahead, Shamika. I agree with you, especially about the long um, Zoom PBRs, um, because what it does is it doesn't leave room and time for me to do the three-way calls. And what I see, um, because I have, um, you know, seen that, you know, like, dang, this is a long one on here. And a lot of the um the people who I have on, they drop off. Um, like I I could just see them thinking like, dang, this long. And then when I try to call them, they don't answer. So <laughs> yeah, I stopped getting my um I stopped putting my um people on that. Um, and I did want to say um because you asked in the beginning, you know what we've done over the weekend to um, move our business, uh, and I would say I've I've been doing more of serving the big team with doing the travel side, um, and I I thank um Director Green for that because I wasn't looking at it like that because I was the one doing the presenting, um actually it was people who I introduced into the uh to see the business before and so i was just telling them like hey this time you actually gonna see me um presenting um and it was family so i guess that was a good thing but um that was like a confirmation of what she just said you know so they won't think well dang i gotta get up there and, and present too <laughs> so i wasn't even thinking about it like that so i appreciate her for that but um i i did that this weekend i also did a three-way call for um, one of my business partners, her first three-way call uh, this weekend. So um, I'm excited about that, doing a little bit more hand-holding um, in the beginning. So um, I'm excited about that too. That's good. You're, you're, you're leading from the, sh from the front, showing your leadership skills to your downline. That's awesome. Yeah, Director Green's perspective <laughs> was one that I hadn't really thought of, but you're right. That person is going to think that they need to present when they don't. Yeah. And, and if I may just add to that, think about it. They also get a little intimidated. There's that certain thing of intimidation, right? Like, okay. Right. So you got to see it. It's, it's about their experience. And sometimes we don't want to put them on certain ones because um, I like this person better than I like that, that person. It's not about you. It's about the information, right? I'm not saying just put them on any old thing, 
but it's not about you. It's about their experience, right? And you're going to hold your money up waiting for somebody else to do it. No, go get your money, right? Put them on a quality presentation. But then I think when we come, when we come in front of them, Shamika, I just wanted to kind of, it's a little intimidating. And I realize that there's not a thinking, right? That's the other reason why I don't want to do it. I want to move myself out of the way. We're not, that's the only time I'm willing to dim my light. That's right? right. The only time we don't dim lights up in here. Right. <laughs> we shine. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Sharice. I was just going to add, um, I always go and listen to the person who's doing the presentation before I even invite them so I can know what to expect. Because every, um, like you're saying, if they're doing a 45 minute presentation or however the flow is, you need to be aware of what your guest is going to get. Mm -hmm. I learned that along the way and it's just, it's helpful. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Very helpful. Absolutely. We want to get the information to the prospect simple and as quickly as possible. And some of you like the longer presentation because you're in the business and you're just learning a lot more because they're talking more. But there is such a thing as talking too darn much. And on some of these webinars, that's what they're doing. And my thing is, we want to duplicate the system. And sometimes some of these webinars, they they doing a little too much, going a little too far. It's different if you're doing a business launch for someone and you know, you're know you exposing their people, you might show them some different things, whatever. But what are they, what do they do when they do the corporate webinar? It's the PowerPoint presentation in and out. Boom, done. And that makes it so much more simpler, easier for your prospect to make a decision. Sometimes on the webinars where, you know, the presenter, they're, they, they just doing too much. And now they're confusing the prospect even more. Your pro nobody is going to understand the presentation that first time. They will be in the business for months before they understand the compensation plan. So trying to, on a normal webinar presentation, trying to go into all the details of that is, is too much. You're just confusing them even more. Let's duplicate what corporate is doing. Let's just duplicate that. Good is only good if it's duplicatable. Showing your back office, can't do that. Everybody can't do that. If you ain't made no money back, you ain't showing your back office. Do they do that on the corporate webinar? You see Mr. Moore going in and logging in and showing you his back office and his check. And it can be intimidating. They don't even know what they're looking at. And it's not necessary to do that. Now, if you're having a one-on-one -on -one with someone, you may do a little extra because it's just them and you know, you're showing them what they need, or maybe they ask the question. But a general, a general business presentation where you're going to have multiple people inviting from, from your team or whatever. It shouldn't be all of that. It should be the planet marketing PowerPoint presentation in and out done in 30 minutes. Sometimes I do, if, if I'm doing it, sometimes I just do the big picture video because then it's just more of a conversation after and then I can but it's still, I can get it all done in 30 minutes, even more so, because it's only a 10 minute video. Benita? That is so true about the um, webinar because I had, I had like a lot of people on two different days 
com and one person one webinar somebody was on vacation and the website wasn't working so it was shut down so everybody was texting me like what happened what happened i finally got a day off and blah blah blah, blah. and that happened again that something happened and they had to shut it down so i was like i'm stuck because i don't know what to say to do so usually i try to invite them on the friday one because i know that's going to happen um that i would know that they were able if they if they have the time friday because i know he's not going to let us down so mm -hmm. now i know about the big picture and i hear about the big picture now i know where to find it and i can show that because everybody that i did invite I never got ghosts because I did get a response, but a lot of people seemed like they were so busy or something came up or whatever. So they was like, don't, don't give up on me. I want to learn, want to hear, but they always said they don't want to give up. Don't give up on them. So to me, it's like, it's a no, it's, um, they can't make it, but it's not a no, mm -hmm. I could say. Right. Right. But yeah, you don't need to wait for the webinars. That's, that's, to me, that's just the what. In my opinion, the webinar should be a second exposure, not the first exposure. And that's not what I was taught. I was taught the only show uh, don't, I mean, get the answer yes or no, and then invite them to the webinar. But I never. Every leader <laughs> is different. And listen. That's true. Every leader that is true. Is, they, we all going in the same direction. We just have a different way of getting there. And I'm not mm -hmm. saying that what you taught was wrong, because if it's working for that person who told you to do it, it's working for them. Yes. I'm just saying, if you're not having success, this is a different way to have better outcomes. And when I do my teaching, I teach, I teach in mind with the person that isn't high tech, doesn't have a lot of social skills, you know, making it as simple as possible. So that anybody, that stay-at-home mom who hasn't worked in 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 the work field for 20 years because she's been homeschooling. So she got a small network. She's not really good with technology. She's not that savvy with all of this. It's simple. I break it down so that even they can do this and be successful. And sometimes us leaders, you got to show us grace because we seem to think that what we can do, everybody can duplicate. And it's just not true. And most people come to this business from a corporate background where they have policies and procedures and they're told you got to do this, 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 this way. And you are able to operate with that because you know what you can do, right? You got to color within the lines, but you got some guidelines guiding you. Some, some leaders, they just, they just do whatever's at the top of their head for that moment. And then now the new business partner is a little confused because there's no structure to it. It was freestyle. Freestyle is not good in network marketing. It's just not good. In network marketing, it has to be duplicatable. A step by step by step that anybody can follow and they become successful. That freestyle leadership, it does not translate well in network marketing. So I'm not saying, again, Benita, I'm not saying what you were taught was wrong. I'm just saying there's a better way to do it, to have better outcomes for the majority of the people. Oh, I understand that. I'm, I'm, I wasn't, I'm, I'm not downing um, anyone. Mm -hmm. I was just saying that, you know, I hear it this way, I hear it that way. So it's like, yes, because that person is very successful. So mm -hmm. it worked for that person. So I'm not saying, but it's just like, you know, Right. The question is, it's working for that person, but is it working for everybody else? My dog. <laughs> and that's that's what I'm referring to, Benita. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I was guilty of that, right? In the beginning, um, when I first started the business, the first couple of years, I was, you know, doing these posts or whatever, and I was getting all these hits on my posts. And I was just telling my team, you know, just copy and paste, just copy and paste, right? Just, just copy and paste what I'm doing. But they were doing that and they weren't getting the same result, right? Because that was marketing. That wasn't prospecting. That was marketing. I was an influencer. They weren't. So no, they're not going to get the same result as me. 
And so again, I had to learn how to prospect because if I'm winning and my team isn't, that's a problem. If I'm making money and they're not, that's a problem. And I'm just saying, oh, I'll do what I do, but they're not getting the same result. Why? Because it wasn't duplicatable. Why do you think Mr. Bradley put the videos out there? He put peak ITA and peak rep. Why? Because some people don't know how to peak. So all they got to do is send a video and, it, and boom, it's peaked. They're peaked. And then he said, created the preview ITA and preview rep for the people who say, I'm interested in you know, learning more about your business. And then the big picture video. It's like he set it up so that anybody, if you just signed up today, you know absolutely nothing. You got the peak videos to start peaking the people in your phone. You got the preview videos for the people who say, I like what I see, tell me more. And then you got the big picture video. He set it up because it's duplicatable for anybody, regardless of their skill set, regardless of how long they've been in the business. Sandra, I saw your hand up. Can't wait to see you next week. Yes, I was just going to talk about my prospect who I took to a meeting last week. I had showed her the video weeks ago and I followed up with her and she said, hey, are you going to a meeting? And I took her to the meeting. So she said, well, give me a week. So I followed up with her today. I haven't heard back yet, but she seemed very interested. So people, like you said, people who you don't think are interested, months later, they may come back mm -hmm. and say, hey, you know, I'm interested. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. And you're really good at Sandra always goes to that Tuesday night meeting in Atlanta. So people see her at the meeting and now she gets to expose her prospects to that Atlanta meeting. Some of y'all got meetings happening in your city and you don't show up. And you're missing right. out on the opportunity for them to be closed at the meeting. Most prospects who attend the meetings, they sign up. There's more of them that sign up than don't sign up. So the odds are in your favor to get getting your prospects to the meeting. But if you ain't even going to the meeting, yeah. that's a problem. Another one thing is that I'm paying attention to my ITAs or who should be an ITA and who's not and trying to encourage them more. Because mm -hmm. I think if they see me falling off the wagon, and yeah. I know, you know, you, we all get caught up in work and stuff like that. But if they see you falling off the wagon, they're going to more likely fall off the wagon as well. Right. And that's why it's so important to plug people into the system and not just have them plugged into you. If they're plugged mm -hmm. into the system, that means they're on the INV Monday through Friday. They're on basic training Wednesday nights, right? They're on the Team Planet Proud zoom with mr moore and so if you fall off it don't matter because they're plugged into the system and not just you so when life happens to you if you need to kind of step away for a moment right or you're dealing with some personal issues your team isn't falling apart because you fell apart they're gonna still work the system plug them into their weekly meetings that's gonna feed them and keep them going even when you don't when you stop and even more importantly what happens if you die? Don't you want your team to keep growing? Or you want it to just stop because you died? Especially once you become a director. Some people's legacy is going to look a lot different than other people's legacy. Because if you are the magic in your business, then when you die, your team is going to die. Keanche, I'll be right with you. We're just finishing up. So just hang tight. All right. Any questions, comments, feedback? Was this a good topic today? 
anybody find themselves having to make some tweaks to their process so they can win in their business? What's your biggest takeaway? Let's get three takeaways before we end this coffee break today. Three people share their takeaways. I'm going to definitely send that big picture video soon we finish. And then um, and, and when I send it, I tell them to write down their questions so I can peek them. Get them, get their questions answered on a three-way call. Nobody gets the big picture video until you schedule the three-way call. So okay. Nita, I need you to go to my YouTube channel and uh, watch the JAPI 2.0, J-A-P-I 2.0 training video and take notes. That'll tell you everything you need to do and what order you should do it and how to do it. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else share their takeaway from today? I um, have um, input. Yes. So basically it's do what's duplicate. Um, um, duplicate the system. Um, that freestyle that hits that hit me because that's how I came in. That's how I learned. And oh my gosh, everything that you're saying, I'm like, I feel like you just over my shoulders seeing what's happening in my. <laughs> um, but yeah, door uh, inviting people to the corporate events because I've been in that situation. Um, myself where it was a no-show, even one of my business partners. Matter of fact, I had that to happen at a um, um, uh, event here, like in where, like if you had your event in Orlando, mm -hmm. I had I had it to where we showed up uh, for that meeting, but it was not canceled by the uh, corporate. So um, that's mm -hmm. that's very that's very important doing those schedules. But one question that I had, even without Facebook, we can just still use our back office and um, from the app with the big picture or those videos. So thank you for that. Just the basic resources that's constant and won't you know it won't go anywhere. Exactly, exactly. That that and that has happened a lot. Um, sometimes you know, there'll be a corporate meeting and the hotel cancels the event, right? I know there was a meeting and, and apparently there was a flood. And so the hotel canceled the event, didn't tell anybody and there were guests who showed up, right? That, that doesn't look good. That's not a good look. Now that was out of whoever had their card at the door. That was out of their control. But again, if these people have been exposed with the video, it's so much easier, <laughs> so much easier. So much easier. Anybody else want to share? I want to, uh, Kimberly said, I love having five different tools um, to share with the prospects. Not only are prospects time valuable, they have different learning styles. Great point. With five different ways to expose people to the business, you know, people learn differently. Some people learn better by hearing. Some people learn better by reading um, videos. Other people learn better hands-on. They need to be in the environment. So with the five different ways to expose people, you want to pick which way is going to be best for the person that you're dealing with. You might be dealing with a truck driver. Well, guess what? The video may not work well for the truck driver because they're on the road. They need to be paying attention. So maybe the 24-hour on-demand call is going to be a better exposure for them, right? Your baby boomers, they may not like the, the, the webinars and the videos, right? They want that belly to belly, eyeball to eyeball. So if you're dealing with a baby boomer, the best way to close them is to get them to a meeting. That's going to work better for them. But that generation Z, the millennials, they like the videos. They like the webinars. So you got to know who your prospect is and, and do what works best for them. But keep it in mind, again, if you're inviting people to the webinar, also send them the video as a safeguard just in case something happens and they don't make that webinar, you've already exposed them with the video. All right. So that concludes virtual coffee break for today. And uh, I, will, I will see you all on Thursday, but come back tomorrow because we do have virtual coffee break tomorrow. All right, everyone have a great one. All right. <laughs>